a newer iPhone, you probably know all about cinematic video on the iPhone. This really elevates the look of the video that you're capturing with your iPhone. But did you know that you can actually edit that cinematic video in Final Cut and access a couple extra features? Today, I'm going to show you the workflow from getting your cinematic video into Final Cut and how to edit it. Cinematic video on the iPhone is such a game changer. This mode allows you to change the focal point of objects in your shot while you're shooting, almost like you're doing a rack focus with the lens on like a real camera. Like you can see here in this video I shot this morning, here the English muffin and egg are in perfect focus. And then we switch the focus to the coffee cup in the back. But unlike with a regular camera, because this is a digital effect, you can actually change the focal point after the fact. So to access that edit feature, just open up the clip on your iPhone, hit this edit button at the top of the screen, and now your screen changes there where you have a lot more options. You can see that the English muffin is in focus at this point of my clip. And then if I scrub through my clip, you can see that the focal point changes to the coffee cup, just like I set it up while I was shooting it, and then back to that English muffin. And you can see those changes in focus are indicated down here underneath our timeline with these yellow indicators. Now I can delete these changes in focal point by clicking on, let's say this third yellow marker, and then I get the little trash can and I can delete that point. And then if I wanted to add a new one, I just run my finger over the timeline. And let's say I wanted to move the English muffin focus down later in my clip. I just cue up my playhead there and then click on the screen to change the focal point to the English muffin. The other adjustment I can make here in cinematic mode is I can change the depth of field. So just hit this button here on the top left of the screen and I can use this slider to adjust how shallow the depth of field is on this shot. So if I slide it all the way to the bottom to 2.0, you can see that that coffee cup in that background is super out of focus. If I bring it all the way to the top here, then everything's a little bit more in focus and more realistic looking. But when editing your clips in the iPhone, as we're doing here, you can't change the depth of field. It just is one depth of field for the whole clip but you can do that in Final Cut. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. So that's one of the benefits of bringing your clips into Final Cut to edit them there. So now once we're satisfied with the edit we've made, I'm going to hit done. Before I bring the cinematic video into Final Cut so you can edit it, if you feel like you're learning something, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. All right, we're gonna use the airdrop method to bring this clip into Final Cut. So to airdrop it, hit the share button, and then, and this is a very important step, hit options at the top of the screen, and you want to turn on this slider, include all photos data. This is super important, let's hit done, and then let's airdrop our clip, and it's going to land here in downloads, and you're going to see an actual folder instead of a file. I'm gonna double click to open that folder, and the version of the video you want does not have an E in the title, so I would want this one right here. I'm actually gonna grab both of them, just to show you as a demo why you don't want the one with the E, and I'm gonna drop it into my browser. Now the first thing I'm going to do is drop this first clip that doesn't have the E in the name, down into our timeline. And it's going to look super blown out. People get very panicky when they see this, I know. But if you don't know, there is a tool in your effects bin that comes with Final Cut to help you with this. It has to do with the way that the iPhone shoots video and the way that your computer reads the video. None to worry, just go to color in your effects bin and select HDR tools. I'm gonna double click that to apply it to my clip. And then up here in the inspector window, just drop this mode down to HLG to Rec 709 SDR. And there we go, we are looking back to normal. The other thing you might notice now in your inspector window is that when you drop cinematic mode video into your project, you suddenly get this option here with a little check mark for cinematic. I'm gonna check that guy there. Before we start working with that, I am gonna grab this clip that has the E in the name and show you the difference. Again, I can use the HDR tools to color correct this real quick. But if you look in my inspector, that cinematic option has been removed. So you definitely want the one that does not have the E in the name. I'm gonna delete that one and let's focus on this clip that we're working on. Now you can see here under the cinematic option, you have a slider for depth of field. This is that same 
depth of field control that we looked at in the iPhone editor. You can slide all the way down to 2.0 and have a really soft focus, or you can bring it all the way up to 16. And you still get some variation in the focus. It looks maybe a little bit more natural. I'm gonna set this to five for now. The next thing I wanna do is click this little icon here in the inspector window. And I also wanna draw your attention to the fact that you can access that same icon here at the bottom of the viewer. When you have cinematic video, you'll get this extra icon as well. We can see it's enabled because it's turned blue. And now what you see is the markers around my English muffin that show that this is what's currently in focus from where I set it while I was shooting. And then if I scrub my playhead, Remember, I jumped back to the coffee mug and then I came back to the English muffin. The next thing I'm gonna do is head down to my timeline, right click my clip, and you're going to get a new option here that says show cinematic editor. And doesn't this look familiar? Again, there are those yellow indicators that show where we changed our focal point. If I wanna add a new one, let me cue up my playhead here. If I wanna jump back to the focus on the cup, I just click the cup in my viewer and I've created a new focal point there. And if I changed my mind and wanted to delete that, I just select it and then hit delete focal point. Now I'm gonna show you what the advantages of bringing your cinematic video into Final Cut instead of just trying to edit it on your phone. If you remember that depth of field slider in the iPhone editor, you could set the depth of field to any number in that range from two to 16, but that range was consistent over the course of your entire video. You could not adjust it as you went. You can do that here in Final Cut by using keyframes here in the inspector window. So I'm gonna cue up my playhead to just before that second marker, and I'm going to create a keyframe here on the depth of field line. I'm gonna leave that set at five, and then I'm gonna bring my playhead a little bit further past this focal point marker. I'm gonna slide down my depth of field slider to create a new keyframe. Let's bring it down to 2.8, drag my playhead to just before the third focal point marker, add a keyframe there to hold that depth of field. And then after that keyframe marker, I'm going to add a keyframe and set that back to five. And you can see the changes we made there. So you can see here the synergy between the iPhone video and Final Cut. They really were designed to work together. Did you learn something in this video? Let me know in the comments. I picked out some other videos I think you might really enjoy. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again.